I'm Draco Self-Important, and you should listen to me. So, I'm back for the third time in a day, uh, this time again, to uh, address some hate comments. I say hate comments because if you're going to come into my comment section and suggest to me that I need to reconsider my entire existence, and the only response you can come back to me with is, you should have used Google Scholar instead of Google. Bro. Like, I'm sorry I'm so old Google Scholar didn't exist when I was in school or doing professional research. I moved into the consumer sector in the later portion of my professional career. Worked at a credit union, you know. We didn't do a lot of research there. Doesn't mean I've never done research. Doesn't mean I under don't understand, like, basic research methodology. Doesn't mean I can't read an article and understand whether or not it's presenting me with complete bullshit. Doesn't mean that I can't look at the sources from an article. But cool, 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 cool. You still haven't engaged with any of the material. You just continue to bitch about my research methods. Okay, cool. You don't like my research methods. My research methods aren't what you ask me to consider. You ask me to consider the research methods, as in the research methods of others. And you have yet to present to me anything in the information that I've provided that I should be critical of, or that you are critical of. You have presented me with a straw man argument. Just to be clear, because I realize I launched into this without any kind of background, because I'm assuming that if you've gotten into part number 907 of this, you've probably seen the others. This is in reference to some comments made by Sean Hoffmeyer 442 the original comment being, I challenge you to criti critically examine the methodology and evidence for the claim that transgenderism has existed historically. Now, the first video I did, I clarified um, when I'm referring to being trans, I mean very specifically not being cis. Because I don't think that transgenderism is a philosophy or a set of ideals or it literally means you were assigned this gender at birth that's not the gender you are. And it means nothing more than that. There's no medical procedure required. There's So in my mind, if we're talking about cavemen drawing on walls, seems like, a, like what other representation would you have had them do in 4000 BC? You know? Like, you didn't address the trans monk for God's sake he's a saint you you didn't you didn't address you addressed nothing like you addressed nothing you talked about nothing you went you didn't look it up where I liked <laughs> and then I was like okay but could you engage with the material and you were like nope You're a bigot and a coward and a bully. And I like yelling on the internet. I literally, after I was finished recording and was in the process of uploading the last video, I messaged my partner and was like, man, I missed arguing with people on Facebook, but the rest of Facebook was a nightmare for my mental health. Now I can just invite people to come argue with me. But like... <sighs> Honestly, the most frustrating thing is that you're not actually arguing with me. Like, that is the most frustrating thing about this whole situation, is that I've got someone who's coming back and re-engaging over and over, but with nothing for me to actually work with. Because if what you expect is for me to go out and do more research when you haven't looked at anything or 
at all engage with any of the things that I have said about actual people and continue to talk about some weird, like, sometimes people in tribal situations take on the role of the other gender. Motherfucker, if you're taking on the role of another gender for a specific instance and not for your life, that's called drag. What you are saying is, you've been presented with historical instances of drag. I did not find those stories in what I was looking for, because that is not historical evidence of people not being their gender. Taking on something in a ceremony is not the same as living your entire goddamn life as a gender other than what you were assigned at birth, or some significant portion of your life. 250 fucking Civil War soldiers. Nothing? You got nothing on that. Because I found it on Google. Cool, bro. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. You have no desire to engage with the information. All you want to do is straw man. You want to have fights about shit. You brought up BuzzFeed. Fucking BuzzFeed doesn't even exist anymore, motherfucker. How old are you? <laughs> You're a bigot. You're a bully. You're a coward. You can take that in any order of any of those adjectives because I think they're all just as insulting and I think you wear them all just as well. Engage in the information or go fuck yourself. You're, you're literally just providing me with a reason to yell. So, I mean, I guess if that's what you want, cool. But I'm going to continue to yell at you and continue to tell you to go fuck yourself. And could you, like, we could have an actual conversation. If you are some sort of actual academic, fucking give me something to work with. Begging you to engage with the actual information. Like, I'm sorry, dude, anytime I have ever engaged with someone who's like, oh, I'm, I'm above this. I can't possibly. It's because they were too dumb to actually do it and they didn't want anybody to know. You going to engage with the actual information that I provided? Or are you just going to keep deflecting? Sean Hoffmeyer, 442. Coward, bully, bigot. Elitist refuses to read an article, refuses to actually engage with information, would prefer to argue with a straw man. Cool, bro. I hope you feel like you've made your point. I don't know what that point was. I don't know what you intend, like, what did you think, like, what, did, what, were, what was your plan? What were you going to accomplish? I mean, genuinely, what did you expect? Did you get it? <sighs> Dumb motherfucker. Prove me wrong, bro. Prove you're not a dumb motherfucker. Prove it. I dare you. I dare you. I bet you you're going to come back about some more research shit and not actually engage with any of the points that I've made, huh? <laughs> Everybody else, I love you. Be safe. Make good choices.